Good morning everyone. Oh, I just tried to film the introduction to this video and he came off and my boob just squirted everywhere so that was fun. Good morning everyone. It is about 8.45 in the morning and welcome to 24 hours with a 10 month old. <laughs> yeah, very active 10 month old. So he just woke up I'd say about 10 minutes ago or so. Uh, I just got him up literally. Yeah, very chatty as well. Just got him up out of bed and given him a, a little bit of a feed. He didn't really have much of a feed, but he had a small one. Today we have a very quiet day, actually. The only thing I have currently, like, in my diary is that I've got a food delivery coming this evening. We've had an incredibly busy week so far, so I'm actually quite pleased we've got a chill day today. So, um, I hope you enjoy this day in the life with us, having a very relaxed day. Just me and my little boy. But who knows, because plans often change, so we'll see where the day takes us. This video is also sponsored today by HelloFresh, and I'll be talking more about them later on in the video. So first thing we do in the morning after Orin's woken up and had a feed with me in my room <laughs> is we stay in our pyjamas for the first part of the morning, and I come and bring him in to put him down to play, but I clearly forgot to tidy up the toys yesterday, so it's a bit chaotic in here. There you go. I've started doing a toy rotation at the moment, so uh, normally one of each of these toys is on those shelves, but obviously I forgot to put them away last night. Hi, monkey. Yeah, he's in this really tricky stage where, yeah, a lot of his clothes, he's too big for the six to nine month clothes, but he's a bit too small still for these nine to 12 month ones, so he's a bit swamped by this onesie, aren't you, monkey? Oh, have you got a wire? Let me take that away. He's definitely far more aware of the camera this month than he ever has been before. Hi, monkey. Um, he sees me get out and he immediately crawls over to it. He wants to come and see it. So, oh, I know. It's very exciting, isn't it? His current favourite thing to do is come up and try and pull this out. Isn't it, monkey? <laughs> Yeah. It's about quarter past nine now, and so I'm going to do breakfast. However, I've noticed that this onesie he's in, it really is too big. Like, he's just swamped by it. Aren't you, Puppet? I think we better get you dressed first. He doesn't seem unhappy about it, but he loves to crawl around and stuff. <laughs> yeah. So I think it'd be better if I get him dressed now rather than, than leave him till his first nap. Normally... Yeah, he'll stay in his onesie until after his first nap and then I'll get him changed because he's only up for like two hours in the morning at this point. But I don't think that's going to work today, darling, so let's go get you dressed. One dressing, clean bottomed baby. Ready to have some breakfast. Breakfast is usually nice and easy in this house. I would say nine times out of ten, he has this porridge. It's one of the only dairy-free porridges there are and also happens to be one of the cheapest. So this pot... I think it's like £1.60 and it'll do us 10 breakfasts, no problem, so it's like 16 people breakfast, which is great! Because when they start eating more, they become quite expensive with food. And Oren is now at the point where I'd say he's eating, he's getting the majority of his calories from his food, he's eating quite a lot, he has three good meals a day. And I like to keep breakfast the simplest, hence the reason I just do this porridge. Um, and then I tend to use something that I've batch cooked for lunch, and then dinner's the only meal I really have to kind of think about actually making or putting something together. And that's just one way that I kind of make my life easier uh, with parenting, is just to kind of break it up and make different sections easier. So the only other thing, I'm here darling, the only other thing I'll sometimes give him for breakfast is toast and peanut butter. But normally I tend to do this porridge because it's just so quick and easy. I don't even have to heat it, I literally just add the milk to it and go. So he has quite a full bowl of porridge now, but he should eat all of this. And I can tell you're hungry, aren't you, monkey? Here you go. Mm, good job. <coughs> We've got the, well, I've still got, and he's got a bit of a cough still, the remnants of COVID, which unfortunately, <coughs> yeah, unfortunately we had over the Christmas period. Um, we're no longer, we haven't been contagious for a while. Um, I haven't tested positive for well over a week now, but I've just had like, a, I've got like a frog in my throat, we say here in the UK, basically like just a phlegm in my throat. <coughs> Uh, but finally my like runny nose and coughing, like chesty cough etc has stopped. But that was probably the most ill that I have been since he was born because I it was like having the flu, like shaky, no energy, shivery, temperature, all that stuff it was absolutely not fun. Porridge still remains one of only two things he will let me spoon feed him, which is this porridge and coconut yogurt. Everything else he has to finger feed himself, he has to have finger food. Um, it's just the kind of baby he is, and he's eating plenty so it works for us. Devoured the whole thing. Right, should we clean you up, monkey? 
Clean that tray, say clean those fingers, <coughs> clean those toes, clean your mouth and clean your nose. Clap your hands together, one, two, three, now that we are nice and clean. There we go. Oh, pardon me. Up we get. Wee, up and easy do just put Oren down in the living room with his toys with two babies on and I'm going to check on the washing oh gosh <laughs> I don't fall over I'm going to check on the washing that I put on last night which is a load of his stuff oh he's got caught I've started using the dryer when I do his clothes just to kind of save me some space in the living room otherwise I think we'd constantly have clothes out drying um, and it was kind of driving me mad having less space so what I do as a compromise for myself because the dryer is not very eco eco-friendly is I will air dry usually air dry most of my clothes and I will put through the tumble dryer his clothes um, partly because as well my clothes by the time I do my wash usually there's too much in there to do one load of drying I'd have to split it into two sections but his clothes he's usually okay to go straight through the dryer so I just put them on last night with a wash and a dry and I've just put them on for another half an hour's worth of drying now and then hopefully they should be good to put away now I'm gonna get dressed and by dressed I mean I'm literally gonna change my top because I have no intention of going out anywhere today so I'm just gonna change my top and stay in my sweats there we go all done all day long on Monday he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. On Tuesday he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday he ate through three plums, but he was still uh, hungry. It has just gone past 10.30 now, so I'm gonna go try and put this little mm. one down. It's not quite two hours since he was up, but it's close enough, and I think he might go down for his nap now. It's just coming up to quarter to ten. Um, I've put Orin down. I've just fed him, put him down. He's not asleep yet, though. But when he is, I'm going to give him about, well, I could probably give him about five minutes to go down. And then after that, I'm going to cook my breakfast. Um, I happen to have some pancake batter that's left over from a meal that I cooked for Orin a couple of nights ago. So I think I'm going to have some pancakes for breakfast for myself today. And then I want to try and tidy up the living room a little bit to make it a bit more organised before he wakes up again. And I need to check the washing. His naps can last anything from like half an hour to a full hour and a half. Um, I've no idea what he'll do today. But I do find it quite frustrating because he is a relatively light sleeper. Even though I've put white noise on in his room, he's still quite a light sleeper. So I can't do anything that's going to make too much noise because it will, it will just wake him up. So I'm going to have to be careful with what I do. It is probably the thing that I'm currently finding the hardest so far about the solo parented stuff because I don't think I've had a baby when I was fostering who was as sensitive as he is so getting on top of cleaning and like just general house organization stuff is really difficult because if I if he's awake and he's playing like if I go out of this little kind of play area place he often gets upset about that and doesn't like me doing that but also when he's asleep, he's not asleep enough. Like I've tried doing it in the evening and then he's woken up again. So trying to fit it in around, trying to find a time where it works to do it and I've got the motivation to do it is quite challenging. But anyway, currently the plan is to cook myself breakfast and then just do a little bit of tidying in here and anything else is a bonus. <laughs> We did half an hour's worth of a nap, I think. But I did manage to eat my breakfast, do the washing up, and tidy up the toys a little bit, which he's about to destroy in a second, but still, it's what I wanted to do. I also tried to call the pharmacy uh, while he was sleeping because I need to get more of his special formula. And I've talked about this before, it's a dance between emailing the GP to ask them to send a repeat prescription to the pharmacy, calling up the pharmacy to ask them to order the milk in, and then waiting a couple of days for the milk to actually get in. So. Uh, we've got enough milk for the moment, but I probably will need it in the next 
within the next week so I need to try and get through to them at some point today and if I can't get through to them we're going to have to walk up the road to go into the shop it's really annoying there used to be three pharmacies in our local area and two of them shut down recently so there's now only one which means the line is always busy uh, it's not very helpful when you need to call them up because if I don't call them they don't automatically order this prescription in um, so I have to ask them to get it in so we may or may not be leaving the house later on depending on whether I successfully get through to them Oh, you did a good burpee there. <laughs> Who can you see? Who can you see? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think mummy might have to put this top away after today. I think this is a little bit small now. He is getting bigger though. Um, he was weighed again yesterday by the health visitor and he's gone up even more on the centile chart. So, doing really, really well now. He's eating a lot of food and he's drinking his milk again. <laughs> <laughs> doing really good, aren't you, Puppet? So that's really exciting. To see and he's actually like when I hold him now he's got some good chunk to him so I'm not worried about your weight anymore say so we got a stinky butt somebody is smelly time for a new nappy and then I think it will be lunch time I know you're so excited for your food aren't you so lunch today is some butternut squash pancakes which I actually <laughs> yeah cooked in the oven um, so they're a bit more like Yorkshire puddings and some raspberries and somebody is very excited to have his lunch Now that he's a little bit bigger and I don't need to watch him every second that he's eating, this is one of the best times for me to get stuff done. So I'm just going to have a quick look at the washing. And I'm also, while I've got a chance, I'm going to put the bottles on to sterilise. Have you eaten all the raspberries first? I went shopping yesterday to uh, John Lewis to get some of the January sales and also because I had I was given a gift card for Christmas and I bought two <laughs> sets of leggings pretty much in the same print but these ones are 9 to 12 months so the only 9 to 12 months trousers I could find because even though he is oh thank you Can you stop throwing them on the floor please you like these you ate them yesterday okay well while my child is not eating the lunch that I have made him can you not throw it on the floor please <coughs> anyway I was trying to say I bought some new trousers these ones were only £4.50 <coughs> These are 9 to 12 months. He's still in his 6 to 9 month trousers quite comfortably. Like the length is good but he'll grow out of them soon. And then these ones I got in the 12 to 18 months. I would have got them 9 to 12 but they didn't have any. But they were only £2.50 for these gorgeous little space trousers. And I do have a bit of a space print obsession. So I was definitely going to be grabbing them. <sighs> right, should we try some yoghurt first? And then see if he'll eat this. He's now got to the point where sometimes he wants to eat something that's like more liquidy, like yoghurt or a pouch, before he'll eat more solid food. So I'll try again in a sec. I don't really want you wasting all these bits. Do you want to have a little bit of it? Should I take a bit off? Do you want a small bit today? So you ate that bit quite happily. Maybe you want small bits today. Honestly, it changes daily at the moment. Sometimes he wants like a whole bit like this to grab and hold and sometimes he wants me to tear them up into small pieces. Today apparently is a small piece day. Weaning is quite a funny process. They start off not really liking anything or if they do, you're quite lucky. And then they'll gradually start eating more and then you kind of go backwards a bit where something they very happily ate, they now are no longer prepared to eat. Um, and then you have to kind of figure out the whole thing again. He has now managed to eat half one of these that I've torn up, so I'm feeling much better about that. Would you like another mouthful of yogurt, my lovely? To be fair, he ate quite a bit of that. He only left, I think, two pieces afterwards, and he had a bit of yogurt as well, so I'm pretty pleased with how much lunch he had. It's my turn to have lunch now. It's just coming up to half past one, or in eight, mm, about half an hour ago. I had my breakfast late, though, with the pancakes and stuff, and they were quite filling. Anyway, so lunch today is the leftovers from a meal I made, I think, a day or so ago, which is just kind of like a meat and bean curry and some rice. So I'm very much looking forward to tucking into this. I'm trying to get better at making leftovers when I cook so that I have a healthy meal the next day because the one thing I am not so good at is making food for myself. I'm quite good for him now, but then rem remembering to cook for myself afterwards is like... Sometimes they're just like, oh, such a faff, can't be bothered. It's just coming up to two o'clock now, and I think somebody might need to go bye-bye soon. He's getting quite grizzly. He's been up for almost three hours now. I think if he worked to quarter past, he'd be up three hours, and that's about, like, his next wait window time. I also think you might need a new bottle. Mm. So I'm going to go change him and then I think try and put him down and we'll see what happens. Well, it's just coming up to three o'clock, so he had close to an hour's nap, I think. Maybe 
maybe more like 45 minutes, 45 minutes to 50 minutes. But that's still a pretty good nap for him because often in the afternoon I can only get half an hour out of him. So now we're going to have his final bottle of the day. I did hear back from the pharmacy. Uh, well, I managed to get in touch with them and they haven't got his prescription on the system yet. So I'm guessing the GP is going to take an extra day to do it. Um, I might give them a call a bit later or I think we'll be fine for the weekend. I might leave it till Monday. But it's going to have his bottle now and that's the last bottle of the day. And then we'll have some more playtime and more chill out time because as we've been saying, we're having a very chilled, relaxed day today. Got a little bit of a cuddly boy now. Which is lovely because I love cuddly boys. Yes, I do. It's lovely when they get to this really snuggly stage. I'm actually really enjoying 10 months. He's kind of like independent enough that most of the time he'll happily kind of play on the floor with his own things. He's not, yeah. he's not a super snuggly, snuggly baby. But he's happy to kind of sit on my lap and have cuddles and watch CBeebies with me or something. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, you want to grab the camera? That's the that is the downside actually with him being bigger. He now wants to get hold of the camera. I found in the earlier days that these kind of like no plan, really chill days, they were a lot harder. Um, I can't remember why because I'm sure when I was fostering they weren't as bad. But definitely when he was like four or five months old, or maybe even younger than that, it was harder to do. I think because he couldn't move about at that point very easily. Like putting him on the floor with some of his toys, it wouldn't entertain him for long, so he wanted to be held a lot or like be doing things a lot. Whereas now, because he can move around the floor himself and play with various different toys, it's a lot easier because I can just kind of sit here on the sofa and you know do <coughs> yeah do something on my laptop or like he can be distracted with CBBS for a bit if he needs to. And I just enjoy having this chill out times, and also that we get to kind of not have to worry about going out or getting ready or t doing anything. What are you doing, monkey? It's just coming up to 20 past four now, and he's been a little bit sick, which is very, very unusual for him. He's never been a sicky baby. Like, even when he was little, he, he barely spit up after a feed. Um, and I can't remember the last time he was sick, or if he has even been sick at all since he's had food. Like, I don't think he ever has been. Um, and he's not been very sick. It was more like a, a burp that was quite, you know, a sicky burp, really. Sorry if you're eating your dinner. But it's a bit unusual for him. And normally he has his dinner now at around 4.30, 4 to 5. So I'm debating whether I should make him something. He seems fine in himself, and that's the main thing. And we've currently just got CBeebies on to distract us. I think for dinner I'm actually just going to do some... I have some banana bread in the fridge that needs eating up. So I think I'll do him a few pieces of that and some fruit, like maybe some blueberries or something as well. Um, I don't want to overload him with food if he's been a little bit sick and I don't think I'm going to stress myself out by cooking. <laughs> this is the last little play session of the day. <laughs> it is almost 5.30 now. Um, I gave him his dinner, I needed to charge my camera at that point. But I basically just gave him a few pieces of some homemade banana bread that, as I said before, needed eating up. And he also had a pouch and some blueberries. <laughs> <laughs> you seem very happy, don't you, my lovely? I'm not too worried anymore. He ate all that, no problem, and he hasn't been sick again. So I think it might have just been the milk and uh, a full tummy before. So he still goes to bed at around 6 o'clock every evening. He's like, he's a baby that is just done by 6 o'clock, really, with his fatigue. But that works quite well for me because it means I get the whole evening to myself. So I think in about 15 minutes, I'm going to run him a bath. And then we will start your bedtime routine, my love. Now that he's all in his pyjamas, I'm going to pop him in his sleep sack, nurse him to sleep, and then hopefully he will go down. So, say bye-bye, we'll see you in the morning. It is now coming up to quarter to seven. Oren went down, I want to say like 6.15ish. I always give him a little bit of time after he's gone down before I start making any noise like in the kitchen or in the living room, just to make sure he's really settled. And then after that, I've just been busy cooking dinner, which leads me on to today's sponsor, HelloFresh. I have partnered with HelloFresh before, but just in case you haven't seen any of my previous videos, HelloFresh are a meal prep delivery service. So basically you go online, you can look through a bunch of recipes for each week, decide which ones you want, you order them, and then they send you all the ingredients you need in a box each week along with the recipe cards. So the two that I was choosing from this evening were the Chipotle chicken stew and the Thai inspired pork and noodle stir fry. Both of these are the super quick recipes which you can see there and that means that they only take 15 minutes to make so they, and they, I can confirm having made them they are super quick. I decided tonight to go for the Thai inspired pork and noodle stir fry so that's just what I finished cooking now. I haven't had this recipe before and this is one of the things I also really like about HelloFresh is that I get to try lots of new things that I wouldn't have thought of. Mm. 
It's really good. I mentioned earlier in the day that one of the things I really struggle with is cooking meals for myself. I've got quite good at making things for Oren. In fact, I'm often like batch cooking and prepping stuff for him. But by the time I've done that, I've kind of like used up all my mental energy for cooking for the day. And I get around to the evening and I'm like, oh my God, I've got to cook something for myself now because he doesn't like to eat the same things as me, of course. But HelloFresh really helps me with this because it acts as kind of like a middle ground where all I have to do is remember to go on and look through the menu each week. I don't have to think up the meal ideas and then remember to order them from the supermarket and then inevitably forget that I've frozen something and I haven't defrosted it in time for the meal that night. With HelloFresh, everything is delivered in the box that you need. And all I have to remember to do is look through these recipe cards, choose the one I want, and then everything's there ready to go. So it's a really great compromise for me now that I have enough time in the evening to actually get around to cooking, but not necessarily the mental power to remember to order ingredients and plan meals and everything for the week. So this just takes a bit of the strain off of that. And what's extra useful for me is that because these meals do uh, two portions, you can choose whether you want two, three or four. And obviously I choose the two because I live on my own. But with the two portion sizes, that means I get two meals out of every time I cook. So this will be tonight's dinner, but I can also put the rest in the fridge for tomorrow's lunch. So I get a healthy lunch as well, rather than me just snacking on whatever I can find in the cupboards. So it has the extra benefit too, if you're solo parent out there. So if you're interested in trying HelloFresh, I have my own special code PRECIOUS24. It's on the screen here. You can get 60% off your first box plus 20% off the next two months worth of boxes and you can get free gifts with them too. I'll also put a QR code up on the screen here which you can just scan if you want to go straight to the discount. But thank you so much for HelloFresh for sponsoring these videos and sending me lots of yummy food to eat and making my life just that little bit easier. Just finished eating my dinner and it is now about five past seven. I'm feeling a bit bereft of TV shows to watch at the moment, to be honest. I did watch the new Waterloo Road when that came out, but they released all the episodes online on like the 2nd of January, and then they're going through them like one by one, week by week on the TV. But I just decided to binge watch them all at once, which was quite fun to have a day to be able to do that. It was actually one of my work days, so I got my work done and then I um, ended up managing to binge watch a few and then in the evening when Oren had gone to bed I watched the rest of them. But that does now mean I haven't really got any other show to look forward to because Bridgerton's not coming out until May. There's a few other shows I watched and I don't know when they're coming out but right now I'm just feeling a bit like hmm I haven't really got anything good to watch. So I've gone back to an oldie. I'm currently watching Downton Abbey season one and I was a massive Downton Abbey fan when it first came out. Oh that reminds me there is an episode of Called the Midwife I haven't watched yet. Could do that. But anyway, years ago when it came out, I was absolutely obsessed with it. And if you haven't watched it yet and you don't want to spoil it, skip ahead by about two minutes. But I was basically very invested in Mary and Matthew's relationship. And so when he died, I kind of lost interest in it. And then I think a couple, maybe a year or so ago, maybe when I was pregnant, I started watching the rest of the series. But I didn't get all the way through. So I guess I could kind of pick up where I left off but I'm going back to the beginning I think the first three seasons are the best I might be biased because Matthew is involved in them <laughs> but they were always I think my favorite even of the new ones that I saw so I've kind of gone back to those ones and who knows maybe I'll make my way through the series again over time and maybe I'll get a bit further along. I do have a new book which I am really enjoying at the moment which is called Husband Material by Alexis Hall. I read the boyfriend material book first and actually I'm reading through Husband Material and realising I could probably go back and read Boyfriend Material after I finish this book but it's really well written. I'm thoroughly enjoying it. I'm sure I will have finished it by the time this video goes live. I might possibly even finish it tonight. But I love it when I've got a really good book. Like, you know when you find a book and it's actually... Like, because I read a quite a lot of chick flick style, just sort of MM romance novels that are re easy to read, quick to read, kind of give you a feel-good feeling. Um, but they're not really, like, super well-written or in-depth. And when you find a book that is really well-written and has, like, a good kind of a sort of different... Um, storyline I guess then I find that like really exciting and then if any other bookworms are the same. It's 10 to 9 now and I think I might have an early night so I can go and curl up in bed and read my book. I'm a bit I don't know if anyone else is like this but I have like mini routines that I like to stick to all things that I do kind of traditionally. I'm not big on routines in my like daily life in fact I've recently had to like physically write out a weekly list where I've put a chore for each day, like bin day on this day, wash my clothes on this day, orange clothes on this day, because I found that having no routine at all was just causing too much chaos. But I'm not naturally a routines person, except for certain things. And one of those is that I like to, for example, I like to read non-fiction books in the bath, but I like to read fiction books curled up in bed, but not like necessarily on the sofa or anything. So um, I think I might consider going to bed a bit earlier. I also think I might make myself hot chocolate. 
that's a bit of a treat because I've got some extra oat milk that needs drinking up and I could use it to make a hot chocolate. I'm also very tempted by the fact that there is one banana left that really needs eating up probably tonight. I'm not sure if it'll even last till tomorrow. And there's a banana and chopped chip fried sandwich that I have done in the past, which is delicious. And I've got some homemade bread that needs eating up too. I've really got into bread making recently. Um, I don't know where it came from, but I just suddenly decided one day I'm gonna try making some bread. And I did, and the first attempt was, it like looked really good. It didn't taste quite as good, it was quite dense. But the second time I made it, it was fabulous. So I'm currently on a bit of a home-cooked bread kick, but oh my goodness, if you've never tried making your own bread, the taste difference from that and supermarket bread, oh my goodness, like so much better. But anyway, I digress. What I was trying to say is I've got some of that that needs eating up, so I could use it to make the fried sandwich, but am I hungry enough? Knowing me though, what I'll probably do is go to bed now, start reading the book, and then about an hour later, get up and go and make it as a treat for myself. Oh, I don't know. I don't think I'm hungry enough now. I think I'll leave it for a bit longer, but before I go to bed, I need to quickly tidy up the toys in here. I've already put the bottles that were sterilising out to dry now from the sterilising fluid. Oh, I've got to put some cloth nappies on to wash as well. I haven't bothered to sort through his washing from earlier. I think I might do that tomorrow. Again, procrastinating. Well, thank God I remembered before going to bed that I still have my Sainsbury's delivery coming. Um, it literally shows in the kitchen, I think, like putting, I've tied up the living room, put the wash on, and I suddenly went, oh my goodness, like I've got a Sainsbury's delivery coming today. And I was actually worried that I might have missed it, that like I might have had my headphones in and, and not heard the knock at the door. But luckily that wasn't the case. He came towards the end of the hour that they'd allotted me this morning. So anyway, I've spared you the putting away of all the <laughs> stuff I ordered in the Ella's kitchen, etc., because actually my camera turned out to be full. So I needed to upload some of the footage so that I could create some more room on this camera. But anyway, now that that's done, it is 9.30 and I am definitely ready to go to bed. Also last time I did one of these videos I think somebody recommended, I made a joke that Ella's Kitchen was going to bankrupt to me and someone recommended Aldi and my mum did go actually and pick up a few bits which was good but they had a kind of limited range of dairy free options because a lot of things like Greek yogurt in and also um, there isn't an Aldi kind of that's particularly local to where I live um, so it's kind of like a specific trek to get there and it sort of isn't worth it for the amount of savings so I'm still using Ella's Kitchen mainly, uh, along with a few of the Sainsbury's own brand. But I have to say, he is now eating less pouches. Um, or when he's having a pouch, he's having it with some other food, so it's not quite, I'm not getting through quite as many anymore, which is good. And I tend to use kind of like the smaller Ella's Kitchen ones, the 90 gram, like the, the red one, the pink one, etc. If you've not had kids, you'll have no idea what I'm talking about. Don't worry, you're not missing out. But anyway, they, they come in boxes. They're a little bit cheaper because you bulk buy them together. And they're just sort of the perfect size to top up um, like a bit of finger food as well. But yeah, as it is like now 9.30, I am definitely thinking I'm going to head off to curl up in bed and read my book. I'm still undecided on the, I was gonna say barbecue sandwich then, it's not a barbecue sandwich at all, it's a banana chop chip sandwich. I'm still undecided on that. And I'm now quite knackered, so I'm wondering if I can even be bothered to do the hot chocolate. I might wait and see if I want the banana fried sandwich later. Let's go get curled up in bed. It is almost 11 o'clock at night now and I decided to go ahead and make myself my banana chocolate chip sandwich anyway. This is the point in the evening where I have a bit of a moral dilemma. Because the last couple of nights, Orin has woken up around midnight and I'm like, I think it's easier on me to not go to sleep beforehand than be woken up by him at this time. At the moment he's been waking up around twice a night, which it's kind of annoying and I'm kind of on the like, do I want to do any sleep training, don't I, at this point? Because if he was waking up three times, I definitely would. But two times a night, it's not fun, but it's kind of not the worst. One time a night is fine, I can deal with that. Two times it's kind of like bordering on that, three it's really difficult. Of course on nights he then sleeps through. I could potentially stay awake for nothing. I'm not feeling that tired at the moment, so I think I might just stay awake for the next hour and continue reading my book. It is just about to turn midnight and I can hear he's woken up for his first food so I'm quite pleased I didn't go to sleep actually. Well good morning once again. It is around 9am. Um, this little one woke up quite late for his second waking actually at 5.50. If he'd woken up an hour later 
I wouldn't have bothered to put him back to bed. 5.50. 5.50 is a bit early for him. Anyway, I put him back and he slept till I think around 8.45 maybe -ish. Oh, pardon you. He's just had a feed, if you couldn't tell. So that is 24 hours with a 10 month old. So like I said, he's currently waking up, I think, twice in the night for a feed. But he's, he's, he's quite pretty easy. Like he wakes up, he has a feed, he goes back to sleep. So... No, we're fine. It's normal. They they often still wake at this time, um, and we can cope just fine, can't we, monkey? It's a Saturday today. It's the weekend, so we're probably going to go and see my parents. I'm going to do a little bit of shopping. I've got some vouchers from Christmas that I want to spend, and hopefully have another lovely day. But I hope you enjoyed following us on this day in the life. Well, 24 hours with a 10 month old, and I look forward to seeing you at the next one. Bye, everyone. Have a great day. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing. And of course, an extra special thank you to my precious stars, superstar members who give me just a little bit of extra support each month. And if you're interested in joining, having a look at the benefits, take a look down below in the description box or click on the join button. Thanks so much, everyone. Have a great day. Bye. Say bye.